Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show. I hope your day is starting off very, very well. And I want to add to that. I have, um, you knew her as a child star, but she's all grown up. She's got her own family and everything. Soleil Moon Fry, she's here. Yeah, she used to be Punky Brewster, and I think we still call her that. Soleil, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you. And you can call me Punky forever. Oh, I can call it. We, you still go okay. I Absolutely. like. Absolutely, I'm. I'm. I'm excited. If I'm a hundred years old and people still call me Punky, I'm like down with it. <laughs> okay, I love that. I didn't know if it would be good, but you need to talk about something really serious. You're a parent now. You're you're uh, an adult now, and you want us to know something really important about meningitis. Tell me about that. You know, I, I'm a mom of four, and of course, you know, I just want to protect my babies and take care of them. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, so I have a five-year-old, seven-year-old, 13-year-old, and a 16-year-old. She turned 16 this week, and uh, and it's so wild to me. I'm just like wrapping my head around that is so crazy. And a very dear friend of mine, taught me about meningitis B, which I did not realize uh, how it affects, uh, one of the largest groups that it affects is 16 to 23 year olds. And so I assumed because when our kids are young, so often they get the meningitis vaccination going into school, what I didn't realize was that as teenagers, there's the menis, there's meningitis B, and uh, and so I started talking to my doctor about it and learned about it and was just mind blown uh, by the fact that four out of five 17 year olds hadn't even received their first dose of meningitis B in 2019, and that amongst those who contract meningitis, one in ten will die from it. Uh, and how quickly it can spread through sometimes in as little as 24 hours. Uh, so I talked to my doctor and started talking to my friends and family. And I felt like I learned so much about it. And I certainly wanted to share it with others. Well, it's really important that kids get this, this vaccine. But in a time where we're having a problem with people getting vaccine, how do we tell them this information uh, other than what you're doing? I'm not saying that's not important, but how do we get this message across to them? I, I, I think that's such an incredible question. And, you know, I, I can only, I can speak for myself and I can speak from what I've seen and witnessed. And one of the things that I'm most proud of in my life, other than my kids, is the work that I've been able to do with CORE over the last many years. And over the last you know, few years during this whole pandemic, the fact that we vaccinated over 1.5 million people and that we've done testing of over 5 million people. And I've seen our frontline workers talk about what it's like every time they give one of those vaccinations and hoping that it's a life that they've saved. And so when I see the faces of people and how they've been, uh, you know, affected and I've had, you know, friends who have lost family members and loved ones, uh, I think this is, it's an incredible time for us to really think about where we stood during this. And and for me, I feel really proud to have been such a part of of this movement. And now to learn about this 
And to have talked to Jamie, who's such an incredible survivor, and hear her story, and then to talk to Patty and how her daughter was getting ready for prom and within days had had died from meningitis. I've spoken to these people and heard their stories and uh and I can speak for myself where as soon as I heard that story you know I I signed up my daughter and she's getting the vaccination and um and as far as 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 covid and and to your point of you know how do you talk to people about it just look at you know look at look at the numbers look at what's happening you know as we say now, look at science. I believe that. We are uh, talking to Soleil Moon Fry this morning. I hope your day is starting off really good because she's as funky as she always has been. Soleil, this is a campaign for you. Where, do, where does my audience go online since people want to follow the science? That's what they say. They need more information. How do they get online and find out more information? Absolutely. They can go to ask to be sure dot com to learn more and to have, you know, conversation starters and get resources. And I think, you know, the one of the most important things that I'd like to leave us with, and I really do appreciate, you know, how how you've shared here is that that to me it's about empowering parents to have the conversation. You know, and these are all conversations that we should be having. And we shouldn't be afraid to have these conversations. And, you know, so often someone thinks that it can't happen to them until it does. Uh, and, and oftentimes until it's too late. And I think these are really important conversations and they're not always easy conversations, but being informed and being able to make choices as, as families and, and being able to be educated, I think is incredibly important and empowering. Yeah. Soleil, before I let you go, what do you have on the horizon for your personal projects other than this? Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, well, streaming now, Kid 90 on Hulu. Please check it out. So excited. Um, that's a documentary very close to my heart. Uh, and Proud Family is coming to Disney Plus soon. Very excited about that as well. And I mean, if if the punky fans have their way, we'll see about that because literally, <laughs> it's like everyone wants to bring punky back. It's well, you know, we we were doing this continuation, and literally, I mean, now the fans are like going crazy. It's it's pretty cute to see and very sweet. I love that. Well, we're so excited to talk with you. You've got four kids. I love that. I've got four kids. So I know it's an exciting Aww, life. Amazing. Part of this campaign because your voice means a lot. And you guys, hopefully you've enjoyed my interview with Soleil Moon Fry this morning, a.k.a. Punky Brewster. Soleil, thank you. Please come back. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Bounder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.